Hello and welcome to another OnlyFans video. You asked and I am giving it to you. Today's video is all about how to promote on Reddit. And mm, Reddit has been the hardest place for me to figure it out, but I finally figured it out after years. I think it's actually one of the best places to promote because you can find really niche audiences on Reddit and they're also very, very dedicated. You can find some really awesome fans on Reddit and it also feels very, not anonymous, but not as put on display as like posting on Instagram and TikTok where a lot of people's family and friends see their content. So Reddit feels very anonymous, we'll put it that way. And I think that's why so many people gravitate towards it, but because of their strict rules on different subreddits, I think a lot of people struggle with how to promote on Reddit. Today I'm gonna go over some of my best tips and tricks on how you can promote your OnlyFans and your Fansly on Reddit. First and foremost, I'm gonna get the ones out of the way that I know you don't really wanna hear about, but I feel like are very, very necessary to hear about. So the first one is create good, no, not good, create excellent content. I think no matter what you do and no matter what platform you're putting your content on, make sure it's top notch. Make sure it stands out above everybody else's. You have to be making quality content for anyone to care. If you are not already somebody in the public eye, no one cares. So figure out how you can make somebody care. And I think the best way to start is creating top notch quality content. To do this, I would make sure you're using good lighting. You don't need to have the most fancy equipment, but get a ring light, use natural light. Make sure you're using good lighting. That's like the first and foremost, most important thing. And then if you can upgrade your camera to a better camera, those types of things, make sure you know, you're know you wiping your phone camera off. Um, it's not all fuzzy. Cause you can absolutely use your phone camera. And honestly, I use my phone camera for most of my OnlyFans content, but make sure you're wiping off like, you know, it gets dirty. Make sure you're wiping it off. Make sure it doesn't look fuzzy. Use a little tripod. That's an easy, simple tip, and I promise you it'll take you far. The next one is being consistent. On any platform, even on Reddit, you need to be consistent. You're not gonna grow if you post a couple of pictures here and there, and you're like, oh, why did I only get five likes? Well, guess what? Consistency is key. On any platform, take it or leave it. It's up to you and it's not gonna happen overnight. Consistency isn't just going to reward you within a week of you posting. You need to be posting for months on end for this to work for you. Next thing is building a brand for yourself. Across any platforms, you need to be building a brand for yourself. And this goes with OnlyFans. I feel like so many people think they can jump on OnlyFans and they're gonna instantly get followers but why would someone follow you? You need to create a brand for yourself. You need to figure out whatever that brand is, whatever, if that's a niche or if that's based on your personality, based on your style, based on your aesthetic, based on the niche that you choose of whatever type of content you make, you need to build a brand. You need to think about the colors, lighting, and the style that you take your photos. You need to think about everything and create a brand. Goes for your Reddit as well. When you think about building a brand for yourself, Maybe right away you don't know what that brand is. That's okay. Every time you create content, reflect on if it matches or if it goes along well with the last content you created. It can be a better version of it, but make sure that it still feels like streamlined, like like this is coming from the same creator. This is, this is my brand. D reflect on all your content and make sure that it looks like you. If you take photos, in natural light every single time and your photos are very raw with natural lighting and then all of a sudden you throw in like a dark edgy photo it doesn't look like you think about what your brand is think about how you want to take photos and create a brand now that we know the basics and i promise you those tips are going to take you far on any platform that you're promoting on now that we know the basics let's jump into the detailed tips and tricks on how to promote on Reddit. You need to know the facts about Reddit. So let's start with the first one, which you probably won't know unless you've already done this mistake. But once you create your Reddit username, you can never change it. So think about this when you're building your brand and if you haven't already created your Reddit username, think about how it relates to your OnlyFans name and your Instagram username and your TikTok username. I would recommend having all the same username if you can because, or at least something that looks similar so that you have this brand. 
my Reddit username is so random. I don't know what I was thinking. Think about this if you are just now creating your Reddit and if you already have a Reddit, well, it's too late. Next under know the facts is karma. What is it and how do you build it? So your karma is basically like how old you are on, well, not how old you are. I don't know, it's like money. No, but it's not because you don't lose it. It's basically how much, how would you put karma? What is it? Karma is what you use, but you don't use it because you don't lose it. Oh fuck, how do I put this? Karma is basically a number just like your Snapchat score. So however much you use Reddit, if you're posting and liking and you build karma by interacting and posting and like doing stuff on Reddit and then that karma allows you to post in bigger subreddits and it allows you to do more on the platform and it's not like you use it so once you have the number it's there it stays but it just the bigger the number the more you're able to do and the more you'll be accepted into new subreddits and bigger subreddits so we'll get into that but basically you want to build your karma the way you do this is by posting commenting you know, interacting in the space. One thing that I was very confused about when I first got on Reddit was I thought you could only post a certain amount and then it would stop you from posting. But actually there's no limit to how much you can post. There is limits in certain subreddits. So in certain groups or pages, you are gonna be limited. And when you have such a low number of karma when you're first starting out, you are limited on how fast you can be posting in a day. But there is no like daily limit or anything like that, except for there are limits in certain subreddits. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, like you can post in one subreddit and you can post in another subreddit and then you can post in another one and then you're not gonna be limited that way, but you can't just keep posting in the same subreddit. And there are different rules per subreddit. Next thing to know is upvotes. So when you find a subreddit or a page that you wanna post in and say you get accepted and you can post in it, you post, your upvotes are when people give you basically like a thumbs up, they give you a like, they like your post, and that actually builds your karma. So you want upvotes. Whenever you do get an upvote, it pushes you up in the ranks on that specific page. So if you have 100 upvotes and someone has 35, you're gonna be above them on the page. So when you're scrolling, you're gonna be first. And that's what you want, you want the upvotes. But in a lot of pages or subreddits, you can't just straight up ask for upvotes. So we will get to that. So those are kind of like the facts about Reddit. The next thing you wanna know is more about subreddits. You need to be able to find relevant subreddits to the type of creator that you are and your goals ultimately on the platform. Your goal is to find people to come to your OnlyFans. So you need to find not suitable for work pages, most likely, and you can easily Google this, but you can also do a search on Reddit. You can search relevant keywords like busty brunette or big booty or things like that that are relevant to you. Like I can type in tattooed brunette girls or something like that. And you can find certain subreddits that way. What you can also do to find subreddits is going to other creators. So once you find maybe a page that you like, you, you say busty brunette, right? You're in the page. You click on a creator and then you can go to her page and see all the subreddits that she posts in and click on those and follow those pages as well. So that's kind of how I have found pages. I just kind of go through other girls or I Google search it and there are tons of forums and stuff like that that will have not suitable for work pages. And there are also pages that are suitable for work that will that are relevant as well. like. Um, like face pages and um, not nude but like sexy type of pages that will also be just as relevant to help you gain subs on your OnlyFans. So that is the first thing about subreddits. What you want to start doing is finding smaller subreddit pages when you're just starting out because you're not going to be able to post in the bigger pages until you have grown your karma. The way you grow your karma is obviously posting and engaging in the community. So you need to find smaller pages that have like 200,000 or less followers probably even less than that, like 35,000 followers or something like that. 
You follow the page and then the next step is that you need to get verified. There are some pages where you don't need to get verified to post in them, but I think that the problem is, and for most people, the reason you're getting banned is because you're not getting verified and you're just posting in subreddits. So you can go and follow all these subreddits, but then if you want to actually post in them, you need to look at their rules and see if you need to get verified. And a lot of them, you do need to get verified before you post. So you need to read their rules. Open up their rules. Literally, that's the first step in any subreddit just open up the rules see what is allowed what's not allowed if you want to even post in those reddits um and that or in those subreddits and then also how you can get verified it's going to tell you you need to send in a picture of you with your id um especially if it's not suitable for work pages because they can't just have anybody posting in there, you know? So you need to send you with a picture of your ID the same way that you did on OnlyFans. And then also sometimes they ask you to write whatever the subreddit is, write that plus your Reddit username and hold a picture of it up. Can I call you right back? I'm filming. A lot of these subreddits are going to have certain rules like you can't have a low amount of karma and sometimes they won't tell you how much karma that is. So it's really up to you to kind of like look and see who's posting in there and see oh how much karma do they have and they're allowed to post in there. So that's I kind of wait until I see like okay that person has around the same amount of karma as I have so I will probably get approved. Sometimes they're real they're like that you know it's weird. And then some reddits allow you to post multiple times in a day and some of them don't. Some of them you can only post once or like one to, to five times or something like that so it'll tell you. Also, some of them you're not allowed to post the same picture multiple times in their feed. You can only post the picture once and then you need to post new pictures every single time. And some of them don't care about that and you can just keep reusing the same photo. So you have to read the rules. A lot of the times that people are getting banned is because they are trying to promote their OnlyFans. And I know that is what you're trying to do, but you can't just blatantly say, follow my OnlyFans. In most subreddits, you can't. Um, and you can't put links in the captions. What you can do is put all of that in your profile. You can put your links, you can do that, but then in your actual posts in subreddits, what I recommend is just saying something that will help engage people. So you can ask them like, oh, what do you think of this? Questions that will get them to respond to your post. And that is the best way for them to respond and then you can respond to them. And a lot of the times they'll message you and then they'll look at your profile and then they'll find your link. So let it be natural. Don't be super pushy because you will get banned in so many subreddits if you are promoting your link too much or if you're promoting it at all. And like I said, just read the rules in every single subreddit and make sure you're getting verified in the ones that you want to post in. I would recommend finding like anywhere from like five to 20 subreddits to get verified in and then just keep posting in those ones every single day and some of them like i said will allow you to post three five times three to five times um so do that every single day and then the next part of this is connecting with your fans in any business the best marketing like of all is connecting. People want to connect. That's why they follow you on OnlyFans. If they didn't want to connect, they would just go watch regular porn or they would just go find regular bikini photos or whatever it is. So you need to connect with the audience. So anyone that upvotes you, anyone that comments, anyone that messages you, respond to them, send them emojis, get to know them and really get to know them. Message them back, ask them how their day is, ask them what type of content that they're into, what subreddits they're in, all of the above. Get to know them for real and then you will build loyal followers. I think so many people want instant gratification in this industry. They want everything to happen so fast and they really want want like to just they just want it to be a machine and guess what you're not a machine and followers aren't part of a machine they are real people so get to know them and that is the best marketing for any platform but especially reddit if you want new followers off reddit the best thing to do is connect with people i know that reddit is very very confusing but i hope this like kind of made it easier to understand it took me a really long time to understand reddit but i feel like i'm finally at a place where i get it it's a lot 
more difficult than other social media platforms. But I think what's really unique about it is that it will build those loyal followers that are going to stick around. And you know, you can gain a bunch of followers and they might leave after a month or two of subscribing to you. But if you build a loyal fan base, they won't leave you. They care about you and that's why they follow you. Um, another thing to do is you can also send out free trial links to your pages. You can get to know them in the comments and be like, hey, you should check out my OnlyFans. Here's a free trial link. And that will kind of get people to get the ball rolling on it. And if they like what you're posting and you're posting quality content like we talked about in the beginning, then they will stick around. That is the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see next because we talk all about OnlyFans here. So if you have any questions, let me know. I also have a online course and a mentorship program where you get one-on-one -on -one consultations with me. You can get all that down below as well as promo on my OnlyFans page if you need it. It's all linked in the description box. And with that all being said, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.